Hi everyone, it's time for another Rapid Randomizer review, and our story today is... The Daleks. The first ever Dalek story. If you want to be surprised by Doctor Who, try a Rapid Randomizer review! The planet is dead. Totally dead. Right, so we're going all the way back to 1963 for this one, the year Doctor Who premiered. This is the second story, and it introduces the Daleks. Now, at this time, they were just a one-off monster. They were only kind of intended to return once the production team saw the public response to them. Now, if you are a fan of the new series and you go back and watch the Daleks now, you're going to find they're not as high-powered as they are in the new series. They are not as ruthless as they are in the new series. You're going to see a lot more nuance to the characters than you do in a lot of new series stories. This story sees the Doctor, his granddaughter, and their new companions, Ian and Barbara, who the Doctor kidnapped last story, by the way. They're not exactly willing travellers or participants here. They're still tense with each other, and they're still getting to know each other. And that forms a backdrop for the conflict within the story. Them against the Daleks, and also the Daleks against the other race on this planet, the Thals, who have been mentioned in passing in the new series. As our characters get to know each other here, more and more tensions come up, and levels of mistrust as well. And it's not always Ian and Barbara versus the Doctor and Susan. There's a great scene where the Doctor and Barbara side with each other in quite a callous way, and it's up to Ian and Susan to show them how wrong they are. And there's a great moment where the Doctor and Barbara, who have been arguing throughout the last two stories, come to this accord, and they're quite uncomfortable with the fact that they agree with each other. They're even more uncomfortable that their allies, Susan for the Doctor and Ian for Barbara, disagree with them so vehemently. We see a manipulative side to the Doctor in that his actions actually help the Daleks to trap all four travellers. And while the Doctor does apologise for that, it's going to play through the next few episodes this mistrust that it forms between the Doctor and Ian and Barbara. It drives a wedge in between them. This is a really strong story for Susan, who has to step up partway through in order to save the others and run through a storm in a forest to get drugs to treat their radiation sickness. The Daleks themselves, they're cunning, as they always are. They are xenophobic, as they always are. But there is also a level of fear in them, which later stories don't always capture. These are Daleks who have survived a nuclear war. And in order to do that, they've retreated within themselves, they've retreated within their shells. And we discover in this story that the Daleks used to be a peaceful and scholarly people, whereas the Thals were aggressive warmongers. And the war has shifted this and inverted it. The Thals have become peaceful farmers, and the Daleks have become angry and fearful and xenophobic. The first half of this story is sort of a great meditation on these ideas, and the second half is it's kind of Flash Gordon and Dan Dare, you know, trips through deadly swamps and deadly caves and what have you. But this is also the first story where the Doctor starts to become a sort of moralistic force. At first he just wants to get away from this planet, but by the last episode he is berating the Daleks. He is beside himself with fury at their thought of exploding another bomb so they can live on the surface because they're irradiated. He lectures them on their senseless, evil killing, and when the Daleks, as they're defeated, beg for his help, he's ambiguous. He kind of turns away and says he doesn't know how, and you don't know whether he really doesn't know how, or whether he's just not going to help them. I give this story 8 out of 10. It's a really effective introduction for the Daleks. It also continues the character development for our four regulars. Yeah, do check it out. 